All right, y'all. Here's a quick update on the barn. Uh, I got uh, four of the trusses set. Been hard at it this weekend. Um, going out of town next week, so won't make much progress, but I think the rain's gonna be coming back again, so. Went ahead and I put them on four foot centers. Um, I said I feel that'll be plenty supportive enough. I'll probably run uh, some two by fours on the top and then uh, sheet it with plywood. Or I might do a uh, rough cut later on, I don't know. A lot of it's still up in the air, so. Anyways, there's a quick look there. The Gambrel roof's coming along real nice. I'm super glad. I was, I was telling my parents I was a little intimidated about building it like that. I've never never messed with them, but just took the time and uh, figured out the angles. I'm pretty happy with it so far, so I think that'll work good. All right, just wanted to give you all a quick update and uh, show some more action tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Dave here with High Hilltops Hobby Farm. First, I want to thank you all for tuning in today. Um, I was out of town all last week and uh, came back to some snow. <clears throat> it's all mostly melting off now, but uh, it's got a muddy mess still. We're going to go ahead and go out, um, feed the deer, get the trail camera cards, and uh, work on the barn a little today. Just come along, guys, and uh, try to film some along the way and take you all with me. I just noticed here, looking down in my front yard, this buck rub I'm seeing on a pine tree here. <clears throat> right down there. We'll go down and check it out. Wow, that's a dandy rub there. Poor pine tree. See how big that tree is. You got tore up. All right, let's see if we got any pictures. Uh, see if we can see what Buck's doing this. Here's y'all a pretty neat view of one of our local towns down there. A little bit of fall this morning. Pretty view. deer feeder need to fix my feeder but uh, I've been just dumping 10-15 uh, pounds of corn on the ground there and putting some deer cocaine on the block <clears throat> such a nice morning just wish uh, wish it wasn't quite so muddy or if it'd freeze up or something but, uh, we'll go ahead we'll check the trail card and uh, see what we got on it Y'all have probably seen these before, but I got this off Amazon. I don't know, it's pretty cheap, five, 10 bucks. And uh, it just holds all your SD cards in there real nice. And uh, got a nice weather seal on it. But yeah, I want to show you all these. Y'all would want to look for them. Um, I don't know how to do the, the Amazon links or nothing like that in my description, but uh, yeah, check that out. SD card carrier, they're handy, throw it in your pocket. Don't got to worry about losing your little cards and such. What is it, boy? What is it? Huh? <laughs> All right. Wanted to share a little quick tip for with you guys here. Um, if you're ever out in your woods and you're trying to scout your, your hardwoods, your oaks and such, um, usually this time of year, they'll be the only ones with leaves on them, as you can see behind me there. Um, some nice big red oaks, but yeah, I wanted to share that with you. They'll hold their leaves uh, a lot longer than the rest of them, so easy to walk around and spot all your oak trees this time of year. All right, let's go check out this card, see what we got on there. All right, y'all, we're going to go ahead and uh, give the chicken pen a quick clean out here.
fresh coop. Got some fresh eggs up in the nesting boxes. Or fresh hay, not fresh eggs. They're there too, but. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and get the water in here and fresh food be good to go. Hi girls. Got you girls some fresh greens here. Getting hard to find now. All right, everyone, it's about lunchtime here. I've been putting in uh, some more floor joists up here out of some rough cut two by eights. I'll show you here. And uh, just cut out a little uh, bird's mouth for them. And then on this end, did the same. But I'm gonna go with two foot spacing uh, for the loft. That way I can support, you know, some hay and uh, you know, a lot of people were saying at the minimum two feet uh, but uh i think that's what i'm gonna go with two feet i think with that rough cut uh lumber i think that'll be more than strong enough to hold you know a thousand pound or so of hay but we're gonna go ahead and take a quick walk around in the woods here see if we can find any new firewood from this ice storm we've had i figure it blown uh, broke down a couple of limbs and everything and we'll see what else we find all right. I'll give you a better view of the pasture I'm gonna be working on. Um, there's the barn. Cleared all this already. And uh, this is what's gonna be next. And down there is a nice clearing um, that I'm gonna be connecting it to. So this is about 100 by, um, probably 100 by 100 I gotta clear. Um, not many trees in here, just a bunch of briars and shrubs and such that that's going to be the main pasture area there and then uh, up that way there's a nice big opening that we'll be uh, joining in as well here's the clearing we made last oh spring I figure there's some of the stuff that we got to deal with the connect the two this here's the area um, where I think next year I'm going to plant some filled corn nice big clearing here but, uh, yep we're just walking around seeing what we can find Coming up here is our little uh, camping site. We'll clear it out. As far as I haven't jumped any deer yet. Here's another pretty view from the property. A 
this another um, scrape there. Somebody's been marking up pretty good in here. This here's the top of our property with the big oaks. Super steep part of the property. You look way out there. That's my deer horn and salt block. That earlier. Surprised we don't see any deer. Some of the junk they used to dump here years and years ago. Sickening. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And also uh, check out our Facebook pages there. And uh, following with that, I created an email account uh, for this YouTube channel, Ohio Hilltops Hobby Farm at gmail.com. So uh, y'all feel free to send me messages or whatnot on there. All right. Thanks again. Y'all take care.